Hello everyone. Uh, today we're here to talk about our Echo C Vlox CNC uh, deburring and cleaning system. Um, we're going to kind of walk through what the system can do. Uh, it's a modular system that can not only deburr parts, but also clean and dry them all in one in a modular way that you can plug and play modules as you need them. So starting out, we'll walk through. You can see we've got multiple modules here. This system can do uh, Keep going or start. <laughs> uh, so this system is a modular system. We've got CNC deburring. We've got optional integrated cleaning, uh, integrated transfer system, as well as flexible configurations and flexible loading methods. So this machine is designed for parts in the range of 200 by 200 and is for complex parts that need um, deburring and it's a high speed system. We can get down to 15 seconds for parts and, and, and or per pallet and potentially even faster depending on the application. So kind of let the video play here and you can see how the machine works. We've got, what you'll see is a starting out on the left is our deburr module and then we'll move into a cleaning module, a rinsing module and a drying module. So starting over on the left is where you load and unload the parts. Let the video catch up. So the way this works, the entire part is processed on a, on a standardized pallet system. So the fixture is the pallet. So that leaves every station to be a standardized uh, process. And that allows us to very quickly change between different part types. So what you see here is we're processing part on a pallet. We've got a tool changer. We're going through the deburring process. And now we do a handover. We move from our deburring over to our cleaning process where the cleaning takes place. And out front, there's an integrated transfer that is moving this pallet between each module. So with that, it allows kind of a high speed integrated way to move from uh, module A to module B to module C, etc. And what you'll see is inside of each one of these chambers, we can have targeted cleaning, general cleaning, um, pre-drying, and it kind of works in the way that an old transfer machine would work, except in a new way where everything is very flexible and is kind of, you can configure it to exactly what you need. So this is just kind of working through the different processes. We'll skip through, and this gives you kind of an idea of what the configurations might look like. You can have just a, de a deburr system. You could have deburring and cleaning, deburring, cleaning, and drying. You can load from the left. You can load from the right. Um, you can return to operator. It's very flexible on how you load and configure the system. And then moving in, you kind of get an idea. The, the way the system set up, all the, the processing equipment is back behind the pumps, fil uh, the filtration tanks, et cetera. And then up front, you've got the actual process chamber where you take care of the uh, part itself. And then moving in, this is by, as a base system, it's a three axis CNC. So you've got an X, Y, and Z with a optional B rotate. And then based on the volumes, we can add a second Y axis, which allows us to do a part exchange while we're processing on the other to reduce cycle times even further. And then moving into the actual tools themselves, the base machine has a single spindle. It's fully servo driven that allows us to uh, rotate and pinpoint the nozzles to the exact position that we're looking at, as well as a optional uh, high pressure revolver that is a tool changer that we have either a uh, four station or a five station tool revolver where we can plug and play different tools depending on the application. And this just is kind of a, a further zoomed out view. You can see how the conveyor, uh, the transfer is working in between each module. Uh, so each module is working at the same time. So it's not in, uh, something where you have to wait for the module before it to, to finish um, each. The cycle time includes, if you have a 15 second cycle time, it's 15 seconds deburring, 15 in wash, 15 drying. So it allows us to maximize the process and the cycle time. 
And then from here, we've got a, this just gives you an idea of how the loading and unloading work and the high speed transfer that happens uh, coming in between the modules. And as I had said, the pallet itself is the method to fixture the parts. So in this case, we've got a standardized pallet that has a bolt pattern that you can attach any part fixture to. Uh, it's very flexible. And the way that, the, that each station works, there's a common gripper. And that gripper allows you to, it clamps onto the, to the pallet on the front or the back. And by doing that, the other thing that we have is integrated air into the grippers. So it allows us to clamp and unclamp the parts at each station. So everything is air to open and it spring closes without air. And here we can have, um, that pallet is 300 by 300 as a standard. Uh, it, like I said, it's very flexible. And depending on the system, we can have one or two carriers depending on the cycle times that's needed. The wash itself is, again, these are modules and within the modules are, you can kind of plug and play them to what you need. So in this case, you've got a, a module over on the left. You can have one tank or two tank depending on your cycle time. You can have uh, injection flood wash where you submerge the parts. You can do spray cleaning, targeted cleaning, and even uh, we can integrate ultrasonics under kind of a special circumstances. And so this is a, a targeted look at how the washing and the drying process works. So here what you can see, you can see the pallet drops into the station and we've got a manifold that moves back and forth, <laughs> cleaning and drying the parts. And in this case, the drying manifolds are actually 3D printed, which allows us to keep a constant velocity of air all the way around. Um, it, and this is another area that you can kind of configure. We, we can make dedicated manifolds if you have a specific part that you're always processing, or it can be a very generalized process. And another thing with this machine, it does not need an exhaust to the outside. It's a completely closed loop system. So the exhaust circulates through each module and we reuse the, the air. And then all the maintenance access for the pumps, the filtration is easily accessible in the rear of the machine. There's doors on each module. Uh, each module has its own IO panel. That way you can plug and play what you need and it just communicates back to the main the main machine. And this gives you a good look at what the, the back end actually looks like. So over on the far left in the vacuum dry module, you can get a good look at the, the white uh, sub-control box. So you've got that, you've got pneumatics, so you connect pneumatics, a communication power back to the main CNC machine, and that's all you need to do to, to operate. So each one of these modules is a completely standalone unit. And then another thing that we've done for the CNC portion of it, it's fully integrated with Mastercam. So there is a plugin for our machine within Mastercam, so you can do all the CNC work. Uh, your programming can be done directly off your 3D model and dumped into the system. And here we've got a, um, when we looked at the controls of this, we wanted it to be something different. So we went with a 19 inch HMI. And, we reconfigured the whole HMI to be more like a smartphone instead of your traditional HMI structure. A little more intuitive to work with. Uh, it's got 3D models integrated. You can actually see the machine working. And we even integrated, for example, in the modules themselves, if, if a module has a problem and the machine goes into a fault mode, the module itself actually lights up a different color so you know which module exactly had the issue. And with that, we've also added, um, we worked together with a company called Alliance Automation to create a standardized uh, robotic loading cell. So this loading cell could be configured to be able to uh, bring in gantry loaded, conveyor loaded, uh, manually loading parts, however you'd like to, to load and unload. And this final video is actually shows you the actual process of the system working. You can see a real part going from station to station. So here he's starting the program. And you can see the green light. The green light at each module indicates that it's, it's running, working uh, just fine. So you'll see the pallet comes down. It's clamped by the CNC. It's brought in. And 
here, this will go back and forth between a dry operation and, a, and spraying because once it's spraying, it's very hard to, to watch the process. But right now it's stitching in between every single hole and this is like a hydraulic valve manifold. That's in there. So now we've changed over. Uh, in a second, we just actually rotated the nozzle 180. And here you can see we're actually plunging inside of each one of these holes to deeper the cross-drilled sections. So we just rotated the, the entire axis uh, 180 degrees. So it's a very, very fast process. We bring it out and now the transfer system takes it, carries it over and we move into the wash process. So in this case, the gripper hands over to the other side of the pallet, releases, moves out of the way and now we drop down into the tank. So at this point, we're spraying, we're cleaning, we'll do a, we're submerging the part. Uh, we can go into a rinse process after, and then we go into a vacuum drying. So with that, we do have this machine available in, in our Metro Detroit Southfield location. You can come in, uh, we can perform trials, we can prove out the processes, uh, we can do full cleanliness validation. Uh, we can go through, like I said, deeper, uh, clean, dry, all in the same machine, and we're happy to do a trial. Uh, and if there's any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any time uh, or anybody else here at the Echo Queen booth.